Hi, my name is Matt Scudder. I'm contestant number one. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Uh, my name is Matt Perez, I'm contestant number two. Hi, Joey Donahue, contestant number three. My name is Kyle Delito, I'm contestant number four. Sorry, I was just posted. Uh, I'm Tom Gallagher, contestant number five. Hi, I'm Josh Kaplinger, I'm contestant number six. I'm Josh Jass, contestant number seven. What's up, everybody? I'm Eric Duhamel, contestant number eight. I'm contestant number nine, Robert Lozier. Oh, is that how this works? I'm AJ Lyons. Hello, my name's Dan King, contestant number 11. I'm Andrew Crotel. I'm contestant number 12. I'm Alex Trask. Uh, contrary to what this says right here, uh, I go by Alex. I'm number 13. Oh, hey, um, Owen Coughlin, contestant number 14. I'm not sure I'm gonna win this competition. I'm gonna win because I'm simply a winner, you know? Me and uh, Eric made prom court, won homecoming king. I'm just a winner. I'm gonna win because Chaz Michael Michaels is figure skating. That's all I gotta say. And I'm gonna win Mr. EVHS because I'm basically an all-around stud. All these guys over here don't really mean much to anything, so I think I already won. Uh, why I'm gonna win, pretty obvious right here. I wear Thrasher, I wear Vans, I skate, so pretty sick. And I definitely believe I'm gonna win this uh, Mr. EVHS competition. I'm um, clearly the most well-rounded. Uh, got the brains and the brawn. And I'm basically uh, everyone's favorite son-in-law. Not surprisingly, I have a couple lawyers in my family and if the judges don't pick me, I'll see you for harassment. I'm probably gonna win this because I'm the most athletic kid here, the coolest. Um, I'm popular, people like me. I mean, like, I'll probably win. Probably. So yeah. I'm gonna win Mr. Ebay just because it's in the name. Mr. I'm the only real man and all the other contestants are just little boys. I think I'm gonna min win Mr. EBHS because uh, you know, I'm gonna serenade the ears of the audience with a uh, beautiful singing voice that nobody has ever heard before. And even though I missed most of the rehearsals, I still have a better act than rolling across the stage like a human shopping cart. I honestly don't think I'm gonna win this, but it uh, gets me out of the house. I would say I'm some sort of like a dark horse, but a dark horse implies that I have like a chance of winning. Very little chance of winning. Is that Owen Coughlin? He still goes to this school? Owen Coughlin? I didn't see this kid until junior year. Like, I honestly had no idea he was alive. You know, lived across my best friend. Always outside. Never see him outside once. I play video games. Owen Coughlin doesn't like Fortnite. I heard one time he went over Jared Frost's house, got hit in the face with a basketball, cried, and I think he's bad at his computer in his basement ever since. You gonna let a kid who doesn't like Fortnite win the competition of Mr. EBHS? I don't think so. Didn't know he still goes here. Really. Uh, Drew Frost told me he hangs out with him every once in a while, but just haven't seen him in the school at all. So I guess that kid somehow crawled out of his basement, off of his computer to actually do something, which is good for him. Uh, Owen Coughlin. Um, probably hasn't left his house in like weeks. Haven't seen him in a while. Hasn't gotten a lot of sunlight. He's in this? Oh yeah, he did. He showed up today. That's right. You know, I got Owen Coughlin over here. I, uh, I sent him in forensics in Lopes' class. The only thing the kid said was when he was making fun of Miss Lopes in her accent. It's hysterical. <laughs> Owen Coughlin. Only thing I can remember about that kid is uh, his freaking annoying voice on Xbox Live. You know, I'd be trying to play 2K and he'd be at my party for some odd reason. I would never invite him. This is probably the first time I've been, like, outside after school. I heard the last time he went out of the house, knocked himself out with a basketball. So a lot of people talking about, like, clout and, like, thrasher and skating and garbage. Tommy Gallagher, I don't even want to speak of the things Tommy Gallagher did, so we'll leave that there. Tommy Gallagher, I like to hang out in your basement and eat your food. I have nothing really bad to say about you, except you're kind of ugly. Tommy, you're a great kid though, I love you. Mom makes awesome food. Uncle Ray is kind of a stud. I don't know what happened to you. Probably one of the most unathletic, uncoordinated kids I've ever seen. Felt the personality of a wooden plank. Tommy Gallagher, uh, you know, don't really see him that much. Probably because he's so pale. See right through him. Not a very good driver either. Kid spends a lot of money on Supreme clothing, but when I see him skate, it just kind of disappoints me. I don't know. Seems like he's wasting his money. Looks like a cross between Peyton Manning and 
A guy from 13 Reasons Why. I like going over his house though. He has a hot tub. It's pretty cool. Just don't be in the car if he takes a left turn. I like to look at Tommy in two phases. So we got pre-Ireland and post-Ireland. He's been like a different person since then. Hey, Tommy Gallagher, 13 Reasons Why called. They were missing their leading actor. Andrew Croto, uh, you know, pretty, pretty talented kid, but I think I'm a better landscaper when I show up. Makes me laugh. Harry's pretty good at uh, break dancing. He's weird. I don't have another guy in my English class, but uh, I guess Andrew kind of counts. It's kind of cool, though. Might be going to college with him. Not really sure how I feel about that. Oh, I didn't know Andrew Croto was in that. Um, the last memory I have of him is, I believe, eighth grade. Big Adam's apple, I don't know what's good with that. I completely forgot he was even doing this competition, to be honest. I'm just sitting in class, and the kid makes the weirdest noises you'll ever hear. <laughs> and nobody knows why. Andrew Croto, I don't think I've ever felt safe in this car. Kid drives a Prius, so that's a problem. In a Prius. I, I don't really know how those work, but I guess he needs a lot of charge because he's never been able to seem to find his way to one of these practices. Not even just the Prius, but he hits kids when he's driving. Andrew Croto, he's not here either. It's a kid with the other uh, big Adam's apple like myself. He's hit at least three kids. I like to uh, quote Family Guy, that part where he's like, Robert Loja, R for Robert Loja. That's pretty much all I know about you. Really, he's the only one that actually has a talent, so. Rob Lozier, there's nothing bad to say. He's just a good dude. Probably plays every instrument you can, you can play. Very talented in the music department. Why is everyone being so nice to Robert Lozier? I've never seen the kid not wear a pair of glasses and he can't even read a page of poetry in my English class. No wonder why Robert Lozier's animal is a parrot. I mean, when he's not fixing his hair, he's playing the trumpet so loud he sounds like he's tweeting. Does he have a foot fetish? Yeah, I probably wouldn't have passed A-Push if it weren't for him. But uh, weird story about A-Push is uh, we'd be sitting in class and all of a sudden I feel something like tapping my foot. So like, I think he has a thing for feet. I don't know, that was rumored around the school for a little bit. Gotta make something up if you wanna make fun of him. He, uh, he's a saint, that's all I gotta say to it. You know, so I'm walking down the street one day with two trumpets in his hands. It's like 80 degrees out. Pulled over and said, hey, you need a ride home? Robert Lozier may love feet, but Alex Trask sure loves legs. Alex, uh, I don't know if your name's Alex or Hayden. I, I never know what to call you. You just call you Trask now because it just gives me a headache if I think about it. I don't even know who he is, where he came from, or who's his fan. No clue. All right, Alex Trask, I mean, I don't know what to say about him, other than his awful physics abilities. One day he's wearing a Stanford hat, the next day it's a Michigan hat. Uh, I was wearing a Stanford hat in his uh, promo video, probably going to be joining me at Massasoit next year. I don't know where he's going. I could probably play uh, the lead role better in Greece. He has a pretty good job as Danny Zuko. Nah, he's terrible. Looks like Napoleon Dynamite, to be honest. I would say something like really mean about him, but he drove me home once, so... Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I hung out with him when he was pudgy, but uh, I just don't like hanging out with him anymore. Eric Duhamel, he was like pretty cool, and then he like tore his ACL, and now he just takes his head off things. You know, Eric Duhamel, he used to look up to him as an athlete before, you know, he blew his knee out. Uh, big shame, you know, so. I don't really know how that surgery went, but. Kids are harder. When it comes to sports, Eric Duhamel, back when we played football in youth, it was one play. Hand the ball to Eric, he'd run to the outside. That's that's it. Could probably run faster. Well, probably not, but probably runs like a 2.8, 40 dash, hard up. You know, I honestly didn't think he was doing this competition, but then when I heard he was, I was like, oh, there must not have been a Pats game that night. Eric Duhamel, you know, towards ACL. I'm probably faster than him now. I keep on hearing stuff about um, Eric and ACL, but after this, ACL's not gonna stand for like his torn ligament in his leg. It's gonna be a crying loser. Should bring back the bowl cut. Really good look for you. Kinda looks like Wolverine right now, but like Joe said, I really like the bowl cut. It looks really good. I don't know, just gotta cover up that forehead a little bit. His dad used to make some really nice highlight films of him before he blew out his knee and then ruined his whole career. Great friend to have if you wanna go in someone's backyard and do football workouts. He has a whole, whole setup back there. His dog is super annoying. 
A lot smarter than he is, though. Uh, Eric Duhamel, you know, uh, possibly the weirdest kid in our grade. I'm pretty sure that kid was too scared to tell his parents he didn't want to play football anymore, so he uh, faked a knee injury. Oh, we got Dan King, good guy. Kind of looks like a pigeon. Dan King, uh, we like to call him the blanket monster. I'm not going to elaborate on that because it's kind of weird. Foreign people think he looks like a pigeon. American people just think he's ugly. Dan King, I mean, he's been to, what, one rehearsal? Dan King, uh, Dan looks like a pigeon. <laughs> I really didn't know he was in this competition until today. You know, this is one of like the first rehearsals I showed up to. You know, this is all kind of one big joke to me. Fraps, really bad. Like, really bad. Something happened to Dan, he kind of just like, just hang on him all the time and just disappeared. I don't know where he went. Uh, I've heard he looks like a pigeon, and now I just can't get that image out of my head. I mean, he showed up to rehearsals in moccasins, so that just shows you my competition. <laughs> Josh Kaplinger, every time he sees me, he makes this grunting noise. You know, probably the smartest kid I've ever seen in the class, dumbest kid outside of the classroom. Doesn't seem to have any common sense. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't remember when that started. You know, he has to be one of the ugliest kids I've ever seen in my life. Kid's a weirdo. Kid's a weirdo. For Cappy, uh, you're way smarter than me, but uh, if I saw you in the street, I wouldn't think so. I was on his baseball team once. I kind of like, I basically carried him. You can thank me later. Just the way you act in public. He's one of the smartest dumb person I've ever met. Probably the smartest kid in school, but uh, no common sense whatsoever. Every day in school, he eats a school lunch. It's the grossest thing ever. I don't know how he eats it. Greasiest kid I know. Every day, like he eats everything on the plate. I don't understand. Smartest yet stupidest kid I know. No common sense whatsoever. Pretty immature overall. Definitely the greasiest kid I've ever met. You know, we're sitting in English class. I look back after he answers a question and there's just sweat pouring down his face. I think Cappy is cockeyed. That's just that's just what I that's just what I think. All the videos I've seen of him, it's usually like one eye is always lower. Cappy greasy. <laughs> I don't know what else how to elaborate that. You know we got Cappy, the real grease ball of the group. Makes Kyle look pretty weak. Kyle Galito, you know, kid can't kill a deer for anything. He's gone hunting every day. Kyle claims that he hunts, never really sees anything. I don't know if those glasses quite work. Honestly, like if he, need, you could call me and I, I glasses to borrow right here. You, you need them definitely more than me, it seems like. Still can't get one. He's an all right guy, but I think he's been hunting once or twice, but I don't know what, what his deal is. You know, camo one day, and, Roche runs the next. What's the deal with that? Uh, he's definitely confused. He doesn't know whether he wants to be an athlete or a redneck. Uh, I heard he just spends most of his time looking at hunting cams. You know, one day he shows up in jeans, boots, and some camo. Sitting in a tree stand. Other days he's wearing athletic clothes, you know, throwing a football around. Don't know what's up with that. Trying to grow a beard. Probably the only kid I know that like sitting in the woods and staring at trees for six hours, but I don't want to say anything more because his dad scares me. He's the president of NHS, but they just talk about dogs a lot. Kyle's in the drama program now. You know, I turn around to see him dancing. Uh, pretty sure that kid was like a lineman in youth football, and then the next year he was like quarterback. I don't know what happened to that. He just, he just doesn't know what he's doing at all times. Kyle Delito, you got some nice shirts. I like to wear them, even though you don't. Joe, yeah, we're friends, but sometimes he scares me threatened to one punch me a couple times, but overall, great guy. Um, Joey Donahue, I didn't know he played hockey until this year. Oh, Joey Donahue, that guy, okay, okay. You see, you see that guy everywhere. I don't know what his deal is. You know, when he's hungry, he's looking for a fork, you know, you, you gotta get him his fork or things could go south, that's all I'm gonna say. Pretty good at a lot of things. Hockey, not his thing. Joey Donahue, um, breaking news. 270th best hockey player in Massachusetts. Really good friend of mine, but uh, if he gets mad at you, he might one punch you, or say he's gonna one punch you. Uh, he's one of the first people in the class of 2018 to become an adult, uh, so don't get on his bad side. I don't know who allowed this kid into this competition, but uh, yeah, I think he's going to like Mass Maritime or something, right? Probably gonna be one of the first people in jail as well. <laughs> Love to see him do a couple of push-ups. He gets angry sometimes and it's scary. Life kind of peaked during that Super Bowl game. It's all been downhill. You know, went to a hockey game or two, trying to see him play. You know, he's firmly sat on the bench, kind of a shame. I landscaped with Joey Donahue once. And let me tell you, 
I have never seen someone pick weeds so poorly. He couldn't tell the difference between a rose and a dandelion. Overall, pretty good kid, though. I definitely like Pat better. Josh Jax, oof. Love his dad, great guy, but uh, Josh will never fill those shoes. You know, Josh Jax, good friend of mine. Kind of a celebrity, he's been on like, I think he said four or five Nerf guns, I don't know, I have to check Cheryl's Facebook. Josh falls in a line of two beautiful, handsome men, and then does Josh kind of a letdown? He's a model, a bit too short to be a model, if you ask me, but. You walk into Baby Gap, you'll most likely see him on a poster. Josh Jax, can't shoot a Nerf gun without thinking of you, or a water gun, or any sort of toy, the race cars. God, that kid is something else. He models a lot, makes a lot of money, so I can't really make fun of him. Makes more money than I do. Christmas one year, I, uh, I got a Nerf gun when we were younger, and uh, I opened it up, and uh, I saw my buddy Josh Jax on it. You know, I asked my mom what was the deal, and she said, you know, he's a model now. And I thought, huh, I didn't really want to lose him as a friend, but there he goes. Josh Jax, I was gonna get him uh, one of his own Nerf guns for Christmas. Kind of weird seeing his face with like an extremely fake smile. Just playing with kids' toys, I don't know what he's going for. Uh, I mean, once I saw him attempt to pop shove it on the skateboard, I almost threw up. Is he even a skateboarder? Is he even skate? Is he even skate, bro? AJ Lyons, you know, kind of a hick. I don't really know. All I know is we get it, you drive a truck. You know, we're walking in the parking lot, we don't need to hear it as loud as possible every day. AJ Lyons thinks he's a southerner. AJ, if you came to school one day with sneakers on, I don't think I'd recognize you. The only thing louder than the seventh and eighth graders screaming in the hallway is probably AJ Lyons' boots. You can hear him from across the school, loud and clear. Yeah, he's a fake redneck. Uh, if you don't know him, he looks like he comes from like Texas, but he lives in East Bridgewater. Don't really understand. It's like Massachusetts, you can't really be a redneck in Massachusetts. Looks apart, but he's uh, not a redneck. AJ Lyons, part of the uh, infamous back five parking spaces. Yep, infamous back spot, along with the other four rednecks. Is, is probably all there is for EV, seeing we're in Massachusetts. <laughs> Where all the East Bridgewater rednecks hang out. The only thing I really remember about AJ is freshman year on uh, the football bus. He threw up all over everybody. Truck sounds like a lawnmower. Bought it for 750 bucks, so tells you a lot about him. I'm pretty sure my computer's worth more than his truck. I think he came here in like eighth grade. I think I've had like four conversations with him. So AJ's a good kid. Nothing really bad I could say about AJ. It's my dude. AJ, I only know AJ Lyon from being like one of the four rednecks in East Bridgewater. I don't know how they got lost. AJ's truck is not as cool as Steve Moffat's Samurai. Matt Scudder. You're like a 40-year-old in a 14-year-old's body. Matt Scudder reminds me of the old guy on Family Guy that always tries to touch Chris. Scudder is terrible at singing Grease Lightning. Terrible. Matt Scudder, pretty nice beard, about as tall as a 12-year-old girl. I feel like I'm at a funeral meeting when he's singing Grease Lightning. Really loves touching people. I get really nervous around Matt Scudder because, you know, you never know when he's gonna jump on you and start like hugging you or touching you. Sometimes he just pins people on the ground and they don't really get to move and it's, it's very awkward. Matt Scudder, I think he has, yeah, he has more concussions than he has letters in his name. You know, the kid's jacked but I've never seen him working out, so I think there's like a steroid scandal there, I'm not too sure. Did you know that osmium is the densest metal in the world? Well, Matt Scudder just may be the densest human in the world, being so tiny, but having such a high density. Matt Scudder? Is that the kid that like touches people? I heard Matt Scudder is doing this. Uh, when I first met him, I thought he was just like a, a teacher who was like really hands-on, like too hands-on. Kind of a touchy subject overall, that's all I'm gonna say. You know, him and Eric have this thing going on where they just like to touch people. I, I have no clue what's up with that. Matt Perez, oh geez, where do I start with Matt? God, he's greasy. Matt Perez wears the same Patagonia hat every day. Matt Perez, that beard's looking good. Matt Perez, or as I like to call him, Matt DeJesus V2. Because uh, he's bad at basketball and doesn't smell too good. Matt Perez definitely has a feminine side to him. Loves singing in the shower, loves Katy Perry. 
Yeah, he likes girl songs. Sings Katy Perry to me all the time. Matt Perez, he uh, beat me at Homecoming King. I'm still a little bit salty. He's good at cuddling. That's all I really know about him. So I'm definitely coming for him. Matt Perez, what's his dancing? You know, he thinks, he thinks he's a good dancer, but he's up there and he's just looking dumb. Wants to be a skater and an athlete. Can't do both. You know, he's been living next to me his whole life. Still can't seem to find his way to my bathroom. I've seen him snowboard once. Jeez. Um, as far as my talent goes, all I gotta say is, you think I'm pretty without any makeup on. You think I'm funny when I tell the punchline wrong. Just gonna leave it at that. Uh, my talent is uh, singing and playing the guitar. And between you and I, I still don't know how to play the guitar. So uh, that'll be fun. You know, as far as the other guys in this competition, I think uh, it's going to be a pretty easy win for me. I'm going to win, and I know it. Thank you. I've been called the songbird of my generation. I'm going to be shouting out to my mom in the crowd. Hey, mom. Joey out. <laughs>